Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. So I was shuffling out the Lenormand and of course my video got messed up. <laughs> and But I did get this um, Ten of Cups, Total Emotional Fulfillment, Happiness, Joy, Bliss, Loyalty, um, Unconditional Love, which is great. And then I got Coming Out of the Dark into the Light. This is King of the Wands, but this is um, about coming out of a storm and into the light. And then I have here the Knight of Cups, but this is about a romantic relationship or a soulmate relationship. So I feel like this is a really, really good energy. There may have been some struggle, some strife, something going on in your life that was difficult. Um, so... This is about healing to coming out of a dark period, some kind of difficulty or loss. So angels and spirits, please show us here Aries. What do they need to see for the day? What is their daily message? Show us Aries. Show us Aries. Show us Aries energy today. Okay, so the main energy here is having to make a head over heart decision, King of Swords. Now, your energy is logical, um, facts based. You might be having to put up a boundary or cut something out of your life. You might have to enforce something where you say no. So it's very, it's Aquarius, so it could be an unpopular decision, but you have to make the best choice for yourself with King of Swords. So what else do we have here for Aries? Show us Aries. Challenge energy. Seven of Pentacles. You're trying to make your business, your finance, or relationship grow. You want growth. And... There could be an earth sign who's waiting on you, but I feel like the challenge is growth. If you want to make something grow, you have to make smart choices. So let's see what we get here. It definitely could be a person thinking about you, um, but let's see what we have underlying subconsciously or underlying the whole situation. Four of Pentacles, wanting to hold back or save money, wanting to be cautious because obviously you're trying to grow an empire or build a business in some way, so you're wanting to sort of be very cautious or hold back. Now, we have here the star card energy. It looks like you're Letting something go, it could be an Aquarius, but this energy is on your mind. It's about letting go and healing. So you've got healing on your mind where you're purifying yourself, releasing situations that don't serve you. Okay, so let's see, what is in the past energy here? Most recent past. Okay, wow. I think here, so this could go over here, Celtic Cross could be either. I think you recently went through almost like a tower, like you went through a tower, a shock, and or a surprise, or something where it was disruptive. And now you're healing and it's like it's water under the bridge, you're healing, you're letting it go. And you're free, too, because the fool is freedom, liberation. Throwing caution to the wind and living in the moment. So, I mean, it could be that you're still in this healing energy, but you, what's on your mind is wanting to be completely free and, you know, um, trusting the universe. 
future energy we have a six of wands we have something here where you're having a victory you're overcoming defeat getting recognized great success in your life underlying the deck right here is the death card you may have gone through a breakup or a change so there's something about caution like you're being cautious of how you spend your time or spend your money because you're wanting to invest in things that grow um, so let's see what we get here for Aries energy that's why you're having to be the king of swords you're having to make a smart choice like you're running a business almost or you are running a business so your energy is needing to weigh your options or make a choice between two things you could have a couple of things going here but you've got choices you've got two options okay so what's going on around Aries here what's going on around Aries Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is really working on the commitment with you. Um, they are committed. They're working hard on this commitment. It could be something about learning, too. Okay, so what else do we have here? What is Aries wanting out of this situation? You're wanting Ace of Cups, new happiness, new love, or peace. Ace of Cups can be peace. Okay. So future energy here is victories, wins. You want peace. You're being cautious. Okay. So let's see what the outcome is here for you, Aries, for the day. Six of Coin generosity, payments, financial balance comes into your situation. Um, somebody could be paying you, helping you. Um, you're, the challenge is seven, which means you've already invested a lot of time into something and it is growing. It's like you're watching the success or you're watching something grow, but you're waiting or you're thinking about how do I continue to make this grow? Somebody around you is very focused on either commitment to in a relationship or growth of a business. They're very focused on, on the business or on the money. And so you get this generous offer or you could be paying for something. Two of Pentacles means you have two choices, A or B. Now, and it's almost like you want, you want teamwork. So you want something, you want three of coins. Four of pentacles is what's underlying though. This is caution, saving, holding on to what you have. It's the energy of Taurus where you're being very slow, methodical, smart, Main energy is king of air, making a head over heart decision. What is the four of pentacles? Like you're holding back for some reason, saving, being cautious. Okay, seven of cups. There's a lot of choices. <clears throat> seven of cups is like daydreaming or having a lot of options. It could be confusion too, like you don't really know what is the right choice. So what's on your mind is the fool. You might just be living in the moment and saying, you know, I'm just going to do what makes me happy. Because you want happiness. You want Ace of Cups. What is the fool energy here for Aries? What is this living in the moment, taking a risk? Okay, we have here the Hermit. Following your own way, going your own path. Okay, the hermit follows his own lamp. Um, the hermits come out of the hermit cave in this card. 
he's come out. It can be being isolated, but it, he's following his own lamp. So the fool and the hermit to me are very independent energies. This is like, I'm doing what I want to do. What is two of coin for Aries? Six of Cups. You've got fond memories here. Six of Cups is brotherly love, siblings, friends. Um, what is the Six of Wands? Victory, reputation, coming in like a hero. What is the Six of uh, Wands? Uh, oh wow so there's something here where reputation plays a part or your how people see you how you're seen is kind of like making you concerned and it's weighing heavily upon you in some way um, you feel like there's a lot of burdens on your shoulders and it has to do with something about being seen and recognized Eight of Swords is like stress or feeling isolated or trapped, worried. Um, worried about what other people think of you. I think you just don't care. You're going to follow your own path here. So what is this Six of Coin is the outcome? What is this Six of Coin is the outcome? Three of Cups. You could be getting some help from other people here. There could be some friends or family that are reaching out to you or helping you. You could be paying for something. There is a king of the water here, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy. Um, the well, three of wands, deep emotions about something to do with conflict. Um, wanting to avoid conflict. I see you like trying to be independent and trying to not not fall into peer pressure. Okay, let's see what we get here for the fool for Aries. On your mind is freedom. What is the the fool? Okay, there could be something about travel. Ten of Swords, wow. You could be getting messages here. There's something that is stressful. Okay, there's something here about reputation. Um, Vic, but it is a, you're overcoming something stressful. What is your energy here? You get the Ace of Cups. You get new happiness. What is this Six of Wands? What are you? Oh, you. I, I'm sorry. Um, what is this outcome with the Six of Pentacles? Oh wow, unexpected tower and the star. Wow, look at this. So these cards are about a surprising event or a surprise. And we have here the tower and the star. Letting go of something, healing from some surprise. So You're getting some unexpected happiness here. What is this here with the Ace of Cups? Wow. What is this energy of theft or hiding information, sneaking off? Ace of Rods, something that's exciting, thrilling, and there's an Ace of Coin. So there is a new development. Maybe you don't want other people to know what you're doing here. What is the Eight of Pentacles? Somebody around you is in an Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, though, they, they're very focused on commitments. And yet, there's this emotional disconnect. What is the star here? Okay, there's something here about letting go of people who hurt your feelings or let you down. Three of Swords, Three of Cups. Okay, 
So, main energy is king of the swords. Future energy is success and victory. What's on your mind is liberation and freedom. Um, so what is, let's see, what is this two of pentacles again? What is Aries doing here to weigh their options, make a choice? Okay, there's a page of pentacles, earth sign energy or a message regarding money or finance. And a six of coin, generosity, payment, helping. Oh, wow. Something here about the lovers, too. Healing a relationship. A choice that you have. What is the ace of cups? Okay, so the ace of cups looks like it is a rebirth. But it could be an awakening or a wake-up call. New powerful emotions about a situation. Um, your energy is possibly you're helping out a friend. So, what is the hermit? Okay, the hermit is king of swords. So you're really going your own way. There could also be a Virgo around you. Wow, somebody rushes in with an urgent message. Interesting. There is a two of cups here. There's a partnership with a person. A love bond. Okay, somebody is making an offer to you and you are anticipating something here. Let's pull out more from the Lenormand. Okay, show us Aries here. Show us Aries daily. Mary, what do we have here for Aries? It's like you're in a maze of confusion. The maze represents like trying to figure out a solution or trying to find your way, but not really knowing the right direction to go. And we have here some kind of social event or public event. Could be like a wedding. Um, Okay, we have here forgiveness with the key. So the key represents a solution to this problem. Okay, we have rec receiving love here. And what is this receiving love? Okay, there's something here about safety and security of the home. Feeling like you have a sanctuary. Okay. So there could be something about family or the home. Somebody may be sending you a message today that's kind of blunt or straightforward. So I will leave this here. Thank you, Aries, for watching and take care.